Greetings, space enthusiasts. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey to explore the upcoming solar eclipse. This celestial event, where the moon casts a shadow upon the Earth, is a spectacle of nature's beauty and a fascinating subject of scientific study. So join me as we delve into the what, how, and breathtaking experiences of viewing a solar eclipse. At its core, a solar eclipse occurs when the moon moves between the Earth and the sun, temporarily obscuring the sun's light. This alignment can only happen during a new moon, when the sun and the moon are in conjunction as seen from Earth. There are three types of solar eclipses, total, partial, and annular. Each offers a unique visual and emotional experience, driven by the precise mechanics of celestial motion. In a total solar eclipse, the moon completely covers the sun, plunging a portion of the Earth into momentary darkness. This dramatic event allows us to witness the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere, which is otherwise invisible to the naked eye. The sight is ethereal, a reminder of our place in the vast universe. Safety is paramount when observing a solar eclipse. Looking directly at the sun, even during an eclipse, can cause serious eye damage. To safely enjoy the event, you must use solar viewing glasses that meet the international standard ISO 12312, 2 for safe viewing. These glasses are designed to block harmful solar radiation and protect your eyes. If you don't have solar viewing glasses, there are other safe ways to observe the eclipse. One popular method is the pinhole projector, which you can easily make at home. By allowing sunlight to pass through a small hole onto a flat surface, you can watch the eclipse's progress without looking directly at the sun. This method is not only safe, but also educational, making it perfect for viewers of all ages. Directly observing the eclipse without protection is not advised. However, during the brief phase of totality in a total solar eclipse, when the sun's disk is completely covered by the moon, it is safe to look at the corona with the naked eye. Remember, this is the only time it's safe to do so, and you must use your solar viewing glasses again as soon as the sun begins to reappear. Photographing the eclipse with your cell phone is possible, but it requires preparation to avoid damaging your phone's camera and your eyes. Never look at the sun through your phone's camera without using a solar filter. Instead, consider attaching a solar filter to your device or photographing the eclipse indirectly, such as through a pinhole projector. This way, you can capture the moment while safeguarding your vision and your equipment. The upcoming solar eclipse is not just a celestial event, it's an opportunity to connect with the universe and witness the elegant dance of celestial bodies. By understanding what a solar eclipse is, how to view it safely, and the ways to capture it on your cell phone, you're ready to partake in this extraordinary experience.